gentlemen. We all like to look good. And ladies, you all like a gentleman to look good. So today, I'm going to teach you one way to help you accomplish that. I teach you how to tie a bow tie, but on top of that, I teach you where you should wear them and actually where they came from. So, why is it a useful skill? Because you look awesome. <laughs> but more than that, you can wear them anywhere you can wear a normal formal attire. So proms, weddings, funerals, Oscars, Grammys, anything like that. If you wear a straight tie, you can wear a regular tie. Rich people wear them, powerful people wear them, young people, old people, smart people, dumb people, everyone can wear them. They're completely unbiased to who you are. And they make you stand out. Lots of people don't know how to wear bow ties. But according to a Boston article, um, bow ties only make up 10% of average tie salesmen's sales, I guess? I don't know. But uh, so you'd be one in 10 if you're wearing a bow tie. So you're gonna stand out. On top of that, bow ties are more fun. I've got American tie, I've got parts ties, but in general they're patterned, they're exciting, other than just the plain black one that you wear to a formal. But even the plain black one is more exciting because it's fun. On top of that, Warren St. John, who's a writer for the Washington Post, says that they showed an aggressive lack of concern for what others think. And it's not that you don't care what other people think, it's that you don't care about their ties. Most people want you to wear a straight tie, but you're going to do something different. Mine's wearing, dogs wearing, Cuban German. So where did they come from? Bow ties actually came from Croatia, and they actually came from the same spot that regular ties. In a book called Bauhaus to Bow Ties, written by Beth Hamill in 18, er, 1989, she discusses how in the 14th century, uh, no, I'll take that back, 17th century, uh, the mercenaries fighting the Prussian War that were Croatian came back to Louis the 14th court, and he was so impressed by this little red thing called a cravat that he adopted it and it soon became formal attire in his court. Um, there's even a cravat day in Croatia because they're so proud of it. And that's on October 18th, if anyone's interested in going. So, how do you tie a bow tie? Um, I learned how to tie a bow tie on YouTube. The guy I learned from doesn't have his video on there anymore. Um, but I looked at a few and the best one I could find was How To by Bauer and Fletcher. That's a little picture you see if you get on YouTube. So I'm just going to take you through a quick tutorial on how to tie a bow tie. First off, you have to button up your shirt. And then it's easier if you lift up your collar. And one tip is don't do it in the mirror because unlike a regular tie, it's going to mess with your head. Uh, you want one side slightly longer than the other. And you go the uh, long one over the top. And you fold it, make a little X. You want to pull it tight, not too tight, so you don't want to check yourself like a regular tie. Then you're going to toss the one on top over your shoulder, form the tie, drop it back down. Then you're going to pinch up near the top. And then if you look, there's kind of this hole that my thumb's sticking through. What you're going to do is take, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> you're going to take it. And this is kind of where you get your preferences. Some people like to take the rounder part of the tie and go back towards the other round one, but I think that makes it look lopsided since they're usually different size. So I take the round one, go back through, pull it through. And this is where you can use a mirror to kind of balance yourself out. I'm gonna try that again. But, uh, so you got it, got your bow. Bring it down, pinch, bring it through the hole, and shed the bow tie. And this is where you're going to use a mirror to make it look better. But the great thing about bow ties is unlike a regular tie where you need to make it look nice and neat and straight, part of the charm of a bow tie is that you leave it looking messy because when it's a little messy it distinguishes you from people that wear clip-ons because clip-ons are overly neat. I'm going to use pull out your collar and you get yourself a bow tie. The other awesome part about bow ties is once you're done partying you can go to the after party, unbutton your shirt, leave your tie hanging down which you can't do with a regular tie. So I hope you guys learned something interesting today where you can wear a bow tie where they came from, and how to tie a bow tie.
that's all, folks. <laughs>